Park. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the New York Yankees. pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll here. And starting this one, Carlos Rodon. Chris is a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout for any type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need to demand on third, less than two outs. Situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff. Hitting. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. And probably their most productive player so far this year, Mason Wynn. Tops on the team in batting average, move. Guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs into the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on, but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Here's Nolan Arenado. Gets on base and keeps it going. That is cool. Digging in, Luke and Baker. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. And that moves the go ahead run to scoring position with two gone. So that's two straight, two out hits. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So the Cards strand a couple, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in New York, and getting the start, Eric Betty. Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a 3-1 to strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses, and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing and the home run to win ball games. And the righty deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty delivers. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Here's Juan Soto. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. And that one fouled off. Bounce to the right side. Over to Goldie. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is an offense that puts the bat on the ball. Tough outs pretty much throughout the lineup. And they have fewer strikeouts than any other team in the league. Yeah, Boog, and I just remember as a player, when you're going up against a club like this, it keeps you on your toes all game long because you got to make plays for your pitcher on the defense. And so an offense like that can really put some pressure on that defense. So they can swing the bat, put it in play, but I also think if they run the bases... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. So the Yanks go in order, scoreless after one. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. Mark Leiter, Jr. And he's been really shut down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Really strong hitting performance recently. Working on a five-game hitting streak. That one fouled hard the other way.
turns and heads for second. To second, pulls him off the bag. Oh, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So a change being made out at second. Coming in as the pinch runner, Matt Carpenter. So up next, Lars Dunbar. His July and August splits there. That's three hits in a row. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's going to be number 11. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That's back there. Goodbye, home run. And that should quiet this old crowd. Second home run of the inning for him. It's 4 nothing. One pitch, one swing. One home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Now, new pitcher for the Yankees, Phil Bickford. Back to the top of the lineup. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Grounded out his first time up. Big stock center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate. LeMayhew takes it himself, one out in the second. There was a time where that sack bunt was just ho-hum, very basic, but is increasingly difficult as it's become to get bunts down in the big leagues. Nice job right there. center field that's well struck it one hops off the wall should be extra bases they extend their lead as the runner scores from second it's five nothing picks himself up at rbi that's a good sound coming off the bat man and as he connected out front picked into the outfield that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel and that's a pure stroke luke and baker next up for the cardinals one for one with a single so far. And it falls. Arenado around third. He's safe. Oh. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. He's trying to do too much with it just to really control simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And the batter now, Brendan Donovan. At the belt, fires. On the ground, could be two. There's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now into the ball game on defense, Matt Carpenter. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. So a run. 
runner aboard to start the inning. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. That catches the zone for a strike. Going to one. The Redbirds up big in this one. Swing and a pop up. Donovan under it. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. That is it. And That's here is up. Anthony Volpe. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Man at first, one away. Struck him out looking. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Pitch in for a strike. Four to one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Stand off the first with two away. In the air to left center. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. The Yanks leave one. Still up against a six. Nothing deficit. Back now in the Bronx. Here's the veteran first baseman, Matt Carpenter. Base is empty. Here's the catcher, Ivan Herrera. Singled and scored his first time. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. And it one ops the wall. Ball comes back to the infield quickly, and he holds it first with a two out single. Here's the center fielder. He's already homered in this game. sized up and that'll do it but they leave their mark on the inning as we get another look at the grand slam we head now to the home half of inning number three it's major league baseball and it's on the show back 
again the props. Now it's going to be DJ LeMay. The first baseman. DJ LeMay. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. All right, so Monument Park out there in center field at Yankee Stadium. Have you got the chance to check that out? Boog, I have seen it more after my playing yeah. career than I did as a player. But as a broadcaster, many times entering and exiting through the center field fence, particularly in the playoffs, get a chance to take a glimpse over. And I got to say, you do get some goosebumps. And he'll shoot. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Newbar makes the play. He's going up one down. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's done a great job making contact recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. There's a strike. Base is empty one away. You're in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss. He goes down looking. So it's their last chance of this one. Here comes Blaber Torres. Swings through that one. No, oh, that's that slur right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Down to their final strike. Got it! And that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 11 nothing. your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.